Hello everybody, RogueFox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today, I'll be showing you how to create a multi-block swapper for your floor in Bedrock Edition. This multi-block swapper is very easy to make, and it doesn't require any comparators or observers, making this a perfect build for early on in your survival world or your realm. Now, how this works, the back block here will be our floor block. If we press the button, our block swap, that reveals our hidden chest. If we press it again, the block swap, revealing a crafting table, and then if we press it once more, the block swap, giving us our floor block. Now the cool thing about this build is that it is expandable, so it's not limited to three blocks. All the redstone fits under the floor, and if you do want to hide this away, all you have to do is remove your button and then place it back when you're ready to use it again. For the multi-block swapper, you will need a 5x4 area. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our supplies. And there we go, there are all the supplies we'll need for today's build. I would like to mention, these are the blocks we will be swapping. This will represent the floor block. Now you don't have to use a crafting table or chest, you can use a furnace, brewing stand, anvil, anything that can be pushed by a chest you can use. With that being said, if you want to pause the video, go ahead and do that, grab your supplies, and then we'll jump right into the build. What we want to do first is set up the piston that will be extending up so the block is nice and flush with the floor. So go ahead and place a block down right there, a block right there, now go ahead and grab your redstone torch, come around to the side, place down your redstone torch, get your sticky piston, come right above the redstone torch and place it down, and then it should extend. Now go ahead and get your redstone dust, place redstone dust right here, right there, and there we go, it should look just like that. Next, what we want to do is place in our pistons for our piston feed tape. So let's go ahead and place a temporary block right there, a block on both sides, knock that out. On this side, come a block up, and then we're going to do the same to the other side, so a block up like this. From here, go ahead and grab your piston, come to the right side, place a temporary block right there with the piston facing forward. Two more temporary blocks like that, and then place another piston facing forward like that. So it should be facing our sticky piston right there. Now, grab your sticky piston, come back over to the side, place a temporary block, sticky piston facing forward, a temporary block right there. And then get your regular piston and place it right there. And that is how your piston should be set up. Now what we want to do is wire up our piston feed tape. So go ahead and place redstone dust right there. Redstone dust on these two blocks right there. Those will power those two pistons. On the right side here, what we want to do is place a temporary block right there. Block right there. Block up like this against our piston. Let's knock these out. Right in this gap, go ahead and throw down your repeater. Set that one to two ticks. And over here on the left side, what we want to do is place down a temporary block right there, a block like this, knock that out, and in the gap, go ahead and run a repeater into the piston like that, and set that to four ticks. So there we go, that is how the redstone should look. Now that the redstone is all finished, we can go ahead and place in the blocks we would like to swap. So we want to place our floor block right there on top of the sticky piston, the next block in line should be right in front and one block down just like that. And your final block should be right off to the right of the previous block, and it should be in this formation. Now let's go ahead and give it a test. Button right there, if we press it, there's our chest. Press it again. There's the crafting table. And then if we press it once more, we get our floor. Now we can go ahead and knock that out. Let's place our floor right above it. Just like this. And for your button placement, what you can do is place it right above the redstone. So... On these two blocks right here, you can place a button here, or you can place your button there. And as I mentioned earlier, if you want to hide it, all you have to do is remove your buttons, and then you can't even tell anything is there. As I mentioned earlier on in the video, this build is expandable. So right here is the original design. We have our three blocks just like that. Now, in this design over here, all I did was add one more additional block right here, and then I pushed these pistons over accordingly. And that allowed me to place in two more additional blocks. So we have a furnace here, an anvil right there. Now if you are going to place in an anvil, you do want blocks down below in order to hold up your anvil as it moves around. So it is the same setup. So right here we have our one block sticking out just like over on this side. So remember, on the right side you always want this top corner open. So right here, this top corner is open. And then if we press it, there's our anvil. There's our furnace, and then everything will work just the same. We have the two gaps right here in order for our blocks to swap around. Now, if you want to get really, really crazy, you can go ahead 
and add this monster in right here. So this is the floor once again. And then same deal as the last two. We press it. Our blocks are going to swap. And then as you see, everything is being pushed over. Right here, we have this block right there again with the gap in the top right. And then on the left, we have the two blocks right there that are open, allowing all of our blocks to swap. And there you have it, everyone. A multi-block swapper for your floor in Bedrock Edition. This is the end of our tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Rogue Fox, and I'm out. I'll see you later.